Good morning. Thanks for listening to the Everything Swallow podcast. All right. All right. So, there you go. How would you like to start this morning? I don't know. Same as we start every morning, Pinky. <laughs> Good morning, Shayna. <laughs> Good morning, Brain. I like your glasses. Thanks, I just found them. Where did you find those glasses? <laughs> 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 just like on a, a Goodwill? No, there. yes. <laughs> it was really crazy because I have a very hard prescription. And I found them in the workroom. Nice. I haven't seen those maybe even ever before. And we've been together a long time. You have. I wore these a couple of years ago. You did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because um, I don't recognize them. But you have been having some glasses issues. So bad. I need a your new pair of glasses. glasses are, are not doing you any favors. No. And because of your, your, your prescription. They're expensive. Um, you have to have special glasses. I'm going to try one of those online places today. My mom swears by it, but she, you have that stigmatism thing, right? Yeah, but she has bifocals. No, what does that mean? That's that... two different lenses in one lens. Yeah. That's way expensive. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try. We'll see. Bifocals because you can't see up close and you can't see far away. Hey, don't make fun of people. Mm. I'm not. Just Mr. Her. Mr. 2020 vision. 2020. Yeah. Some of us have... Like minus 11. I can't help that. It's not my fault. <laughs> and my eyes are changing, though. I can tell that, that they're not as clear. I have to do some squinting. I don't see far away as well. Wow. You yeah, have to squint to I see do. far a away. Bit, yeah. Yeah. I don't have glasses on. I'm blind and I need a stick to find my way around. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, that seemed a little dramatic. <laughs> that you need a stick. I do. I'm blind. Can't see nothing. That is weird. Yeah. I think it's funny. Well, now you got new glasses and they're a completely different shape. They're weird. They're small on your face. The other ones are smaller. These are bigger. They're touching These my cheeks. These are bigger on your face, I meant. They're touching my cheeks. Yeah. Blah, blah. That's okay. I'm going to give them a try. See how well they work. They look good. Thanks. Do I look good? You look good. Well, then they must work. I can see your beautiful face. Oh. <laughs> can you tell so, I shaved? Uh-huh. Thank you. I appreciate that. Indeed, a lot of. I like making out with you when your face is smooth. I like making out when your face is smooth. I'm feeling much better today. Yesterday I was very tired. Yeah, yesterday was a was a was a was a hard day. I wasn't hard, hard, but it was I was tired. I like I took a. No, it was a hard day to get started. Twenty minute power nap. I was wondering while I was outside ruining that picture. Yeah. <laughs> it's not ruined. It's only the beginning. I I don't know. You got it to a good jumping off point. I am um I am a um I'm a different kind of artist than I am. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not a painting artist. You know what I mean? I can do certain things. I can shade well. Um I can build things really well. But when it comes to like I tried to airbrush that painting and I feel like I just ruined it. You didn't. <clears throat> We're going to work on it together. I had a vision. To make it look like that the aliens were invading, you know what I mean? And so that's why I darkened the half of it, And but it just was too dark. It needs some white. If I throw I'm some white gonna, in there. I'm going to add a little to it, too. Add some to the skeletons. What do you... It stops scratching I'm yourself so hard. <laughs> it's my, I can hear it in the microphone. You're going to cut yourself. <laughs> that was my pants. Well, stop taking off your pants. <laughs> So we're getting a hot tub like tomorrow. Yeah, it's exciting. Today's the it's, ninth. It's coming. Shit, right? Talk about happy thoughts Thursday. Oh, That'll be tomorrow. For the love of Pete. Now gives us a week before the party. Yeah, we're using it. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We'll see how big it is and where we put it. <clears throat> I know how big it is. I looked up the specs. Oh wow. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna go by our great big giant ass new mirror. Yeah. And our freaking kick ass rebuilt refurbished and brought back to life pot belly wood burning stove that i have installed on our back porch it's super sweet it's so sweet i have I wanted guess we to... should say thank you to jeff for giving it to you yes thank you for thank jeff. you to mike for helping you to help finish me. it off and thank you to joe, joe. For laying the pipe. For doing the plumbing and actually plumbing it out of the garage or the uh, patio. Uh-huh. All I did was have the vision and made it nice. Uh-huh. We cleaned it up. 
I found the right people to help me bring her back to life. Yep. And, and it's we're having so a fire. Sweet. It's so we sweet. We should do that tomorrow when it's cold. We should close the curtains on the patio yeah. and then turn that fire on and see how it heats up the back patio. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing we're it. You got to hang that, that wire today, that cable. And it's on my list. I made myself a long list of what things. What day is to it? Do. It's Wednesday. I made my mom. Well, it's hump day. I, hump, hump. <clears throat> hump someone you love today. <clears throat> or at least someone who will let you. Yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you don't have to love them. No. It's just, just a quick humping. Yeah, just as long as they're okay with it. Get in, get out. Hump someone who's. Humpable. Humpable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made a list last night in bed. And as I was making it, I felt like my mom because of the way she makes lists and stuff. But I have a list for today. Where is it? Under God bless you. Yeah, I hate it when you do that. I know. You steal my sneezes when you do that. You can't know. God bless me before the sneeze, damn it. I don't know how you still can't sneeze. Because uh, you steal it. Your God bless just steals it right out of my I freaking face. I sucked it right out of your nose. <sighs> I wanted that sneeze. It'll come back. I have to leave the room. Look at the light. I won't steal do it, it again. That's what you said before. I won't do it again. That's what you said the time before. Was not that a song? Are you Depeche Mode now? Like, never again <laughs> is what you swore. The last time you stole my sneeze. <laughs> I feel good this morning. I feel a little singy. Yesterday was just a hard morning. We got up. It was a hard morning. Oh, we're so tired. tired. A we lot had of such emotion. a busy weekend. So much emotion in the house. Yeah, with your mom being here. Yeah. yeah. Well, with mom being here and with um, a lot of visitors that come over. Mm hmm. And. Um, we have couples that are fighting on both sides of us. Yeah. Literally, we are inundated with this uh, uh, this negative feeling or something in a relationship. You know what I mean? I can't explain We're it. like a, a bubble yeah. in between these two. Right. Because both, this beautiful, both of the, glistening bubble. <laughs> yeah. Both, both of the couples on either side of us are in like this bad relationship. They don't places. like each other. They do not like each other. And the one that just moved in, they've been fighting. Ever since they moved ever in. Ever since they, they fight freaking every moved day. in. Every day. She's screaming at him, cussing she's at him. She's so mean. And then she's running out in the front yard. Flipping screaming people Screaming and cussing off. at somebody else. Going down the street. Well, her friend left so uh, hammered drunk, she could hardly so walk to her drunk. car. That was scary. Me too. And then, What's our liability on that? I don't know. Do you think we have any? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, because next time I feel like if we witness someone driving any, away um, from our house. fellow police officers out there listening to our podcast, yeah. please email us or Facebook us and let us know what our liability is when right. we see drunkards leaving the house next door. Right, because they're out in the front yard fighting and screaming. Yeah. And I watched her walk to her car. Do and we she, call them in? She had a dog in her car, too. She fell into her car, like fell up against it just trying to get the door yeah. open to let the dog in well we know someone else that was over there on sunday and had to leave because it was so bad because of the drunkenness yeah it was so bad so i'm just curious if we knowingly see someone drive away from our i mean basically it's our house because we have this duplex that well it's we not our in. house it's our building. they were not inside of our house they no. were not guests at our residence okay. So well, that does I, that that I mean I would think right there they were not our guests. So that eliminates so us we from liability. Are not, I didn't but now when you see her drunk out there, do you call her in? Right. Do you call her car in? Do you call her license plate in so that they can look and find her? I don't know. That's what we need to know. If you know that, please let us know. Or do we just stay everything swallow podcast at gmail dot com? Completely away from it all. Absolutely. But that's then what I you know, do. whatever. It's a weird place because you see someone super hammered drive away from their house and then they go out on pierce and she came back get t-boned i thought yeah, she, she was gonna slam into his truck me too that's what i'm saying and yeah. then she gets into a crash right up there on that busy it's still not street. our responsibility i know but it's his <laughs> you you want to feast i don't know feel like an advocate for the public yeah absolutely you know, well that's what that. i'm saying because it's like is it do you call him in yeah i mean that's what you would do if you saw a drunk driver on the road right you would call them in right so maybe we call them in maybe we do next time maybe we do it's scary over there now. It is scary. And now he's throwing away all the other dude's stuff who used to live there. That's weird. That's weird, right? Well, the <clears throat> other dude did it to him. Yeah, that's true. He th broke all his shit. Broke all away. his furniture. Like, didn't even give it away. Like, destroyed no. it with a sledgehammer. In the front yard. Which was also weird. That's weird. That's weird. So maybe the anger just replaced <clears throat> the anger that was maybe, there. Maybe his anger. Because <clears throat> the old guy that used to live there was super angry <clears throat> all the time. And now it's been replaced by an ugly, angry female. Female. And she is angry. She's angry. She don't like him. No. 
She says mean things to him. Yeah. If you say the F word to the person you love more than nice words, maybe you should rethink what you're doing there. Without the words, hey, let's. Yeah. In front of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. I'm glad we're in a good place. You know what? We work really hard to be there. Yeah, we do. And you're kind of talking about it yesterday. We've been together now six weeks. Non-stop. Non-stop. <clears throat> and I know I'm wearing on you. Yeah, you are. I know. <laughs> you're wearing on me too. Really? Yeah. Oh, tell me about it. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, come on. Nah. You can't hurt my feelings. Nah, I can. I am really uncomfortable <laughs> watching you do all the laundry. Oh, whatever. No, no you're not. not. You never um, have been for 20 years. I know. I'm, I was trying to think of something. I don't mean to be annoying. But you're not now annoying. that my mom is here, I can see how annoying that I am because I am just like her. And she's annoying. And she's doing it to me. And she too. knows it. Yeah. She just can't help herself. So at least <clears throat> maybe if, if I can uh, get a get a grip on my annoyingness, that maybe it won't be so annoying when I'm old. Yeah, you know <clears throat> annoying maybe isn't the right word. No, I'm definitely annoying. Um no, nah, not really. You're not too bad, but <laughs> thanks. Annoying is not the right word. Uh, just different personality. Maybe like it's the self doubting. Self doubting runs rapid in our Yeah, because my, that's all that she's been doing is self doubting. And <clears throat> I don't know. We were just raised different. I didn't ever have self doubt. Yeah. All I, we really had was like, I, I mean, you don't want to say self confidence, but it was yeah. because it was like, it was. You can do whatever. You can do anything. Yeah. And that's how my parents were too. So like, even if it was like a last minute, something that had to be done, everyone came together and worked on it and it came out amazing. Got it, got you know it. what I mean? No, yeah. no, like, oh God, look, I messed it up. Nah, nah, nah. None of that. Just like, okay, everyone rally and make this happen. But you, you guys were raised different. Yeah. You were raised to be something and I was raised to be a loser that was going to end up in jail. <laughs> well, I'm glad that didn't happen. Me too. I mean, it was on my path, right? I went to the, I was sent away to the wayward home for boys at 15. Right. I mean, I was on. But my parents stayed together. That helps. I mean, they're still together. Yeah. So that helps. That does and help. And we didn't, you, you when we moved, we all moved together. Yes, yeah, so that never happened. And never out of state, like never too far away. Right. I mean, that was always important to them to keep us in the same school district, to keep us yeah. in the same area. You didn't, that wasn't even a priority in your family. No. Like in your family, the thought of doing things right for the children was never there. No, I had no, 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 no decisions <clears throat> were made for the best interest of the children. It no. was all just made on what selfish Adult, indulgence they the had. The adults wanted. Yeah. Which is whatever. I mean, mom and I were talking about that just the other day and it's like, oh, I wish I would have done it differently and I would have tried harder. You know, that's what you said. That's what she said. Ah, because she can look back and see. You know, maybe if we would have worked harder, your dad and I could have stayed together. Because ultimately, I believe both of them have lived a regretful life ever since they split up. Absolutely, because they know that they were there. They, <clears throat> they were, were supposed were to be perfect to, match. Yep, they were you supposed know what I mean? Together. They were supposed to be together forever. <clears throat> we talked about that, her and I. Yeah, because and I think that's a, a part of her lifetime of regret is that she let her forever husband get away. Now, there was a lot of bad shit going on in the 70s, and they had a lot that they had to have worked out. But it all could have been worked out. Yeah, because, like, you, when you already start into the situation together with that other person, I mean, you're already in it. Yeah. So working it out should just be part of it. Right. But I will say this. <clears throat> your mom is very selfish, and your dad is extremely selfish. Super. So when you have two completely selfish people, yeah, then it makes it really hard to work <laughs> anything out. Well, it is hard to work things out. Now <clears throat> I am a, a super selfish person. I'm not, and you're not. And so um, you were able to give an example to me as to how to have a healthy kind of balance in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And now you're having to practice to be less selfish right. because I am practicing to be more. <laughs> Right. Selfish. Exactly. <clears throat> ah, which is just, I thought it was Spider-Man. 
Um, which is how it should be. You you right. worked hard. You've raised the kids. You've you've kept the family. You've kept the house. You've, yeah. Now you've I sacrificed can, all your time. I can do for me now. And now it's all about you. Right. And that's how it should be. Yeah. It should shift. Well, I would say I should have had a little bit more better balance for myself. True. Raising the children. But when you're mom and you're doing that and you're just focused on them, that you lose does. lose yourself. <clears throat> it does fall behind. And because they're mother, you feel like you uh, work a little harder. Well, yeah, because they have a shitty ass mom. And so you want to be an example of a really great mom. So you well, work hard. You spend a lot of time repairing their heart. Yeah, exactly. Which did happen. Because, I mean, that's the same thing I did with you when I got you. Oh. I had to repair your heart. You did. Because you didn't even think that you were worthy of having one. I didn't. Yeah. <clears throat> I would say my biggest flaw is self-doubt. Yeah. And self-hate. Yeah. It gets on me, man. I hate it. Mine is quick to anger. Yeah. It's just because I'm so passionate right, about but all at least, of you. But yeah, it, you're, you know, I wish I could spend more time being angry at other people <laughs> than and yourself. as much time I spend being angry at myself for no reason. No reason. Just be just because it's like, oh, today I'm just going to hate this person. Right. And I just do it all day inside my head. Yeah, that's you know? horrible. It is horrible. That's exhausting. I try, it is exhausting. Try being the guy doing it. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure, it, I know it's exhausting for you as a witness to it. But yeah. I don't understand it. It comes on me. I hate it. Like a wave. Yeah. And then I really struggle to uh, fight it. I have right. to try and stay busy or I have to try and, I don't know what I do. Fight it. It's better when you're riding your bike, I think. Yeah. It helps me burn it, it off. Because it burns it off. I mean, that's like what, because Patrick does the same thing. And so I've spent our whole lives together teaching him how to burn it off. Right. And that's why he's always constantly skateboarding or snowboarding or being active because then once he's not, it builds up. Well, yeah, you start to feel bad about yourself. I feel good about myself when I'm biking and I yeah. feel loose and my body feels strong. And so I do feel a lot better about myself. Yeah. And I've been looking at that flat tire on that bike now for weeks. Just yeah, you should go buy a tire <clears> today. Yeah, I think I will while we're out. We have a long, we have a, we have a shopping list today. We're doing a lot of shopping because um, just to is switch off. topics, uh, the neighbor is off today and he's decided he wanted a custom leather hat for his costume. But no problem. I can make a leather hat in like six hours. Yeah. Bang it out. Start to finish. Well, this guy, <laughs> he wants to have like creative input <laughs> on his hat. And I'm halfway through making this hat. And then he's all away. You know what would be cool? And I like how he does it. He's like this. Hey, man. You know what would be really cool? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's seducing me. He is. As if we took this all completely apart. <laughs> and changed it. Started over. Started over with these pieces upside down. <laughs> I said, okay. Let's do that. And then I wanted to finish it. <laughs> Who doesn't finish a project? Who stops a project in the middle of a project? Listen, you used to. <clears throat> but I did. Yeah, you're just so much better and quicker at it now that you just see it all the way through to the end. Listen, I could have had that hat done last night. It may not have been anything what he wanted or liked, but, but he'd have had a hat. hat. <laughs> 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 but you know what? And that's all part of my patience as well and my own selfishness is it's like he, he wants something specific and and he wants to help make it. And so I can't just power through it and do what I want and force him onto my ideas. Uh -uh. So it was a little so, frustrating. And I'm I know so that I got irritated last night with him. I'm so glad you have another friend that does that. I do that to you. I'm, I tell you, no, stop. Yeah, you'll stop me in the middle of like my moj and I'm in the mood. I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the groove. And then I'll change the whole like, design. Mm, nah, I think I actually want this the other way. Yeah. It's frustrating to me. Well, maybe you needed another person to come in your life and help you grow a little more no. in that area. And you were doing a good job. <laughs> You're doing a fine job <laughs> teaching me to grow. Well, now your new friend is. Yeah. It is interesting because when we do stuff, like you and I do stuff, you say, hey, do this. And then I design it in my brain. I engineer it. And then I execute it. 
Yeah. But now that he's around, he also has design ideas, ideas yeah. and execution ideas so that when we're working together, it's not I'm just not your just idea. My, I'm not the end all do all. Well, I kind of was last night when he said he wanted to do some other things. And I said, no, I put the kibosh on his ideas. I what said, do you want to do? The mirror. Oh, the thing. mirror. <clears throat> and I'm like, no. You're so funny. No. Like it was that big of a deal. It's not happening. <laughs> no. No way. That's an 800 pound mirror and it's not coming off the It's staying on the floor. It's a fine on the floor. It's fine on the floor. It doesn't need stilts. But if we put the hot tub over there. It can be fine on the floor. Okay. You'll just see enough of it. Okay. A big breeze. No, I was just thinking of water. Yeah. We don't. <coughs> no, I agree. We're if not it, doing if no it... cannonballs in the hot tub. You never know. <laughs> you never know, man. It gets wild in there. But we should put it probably against the house after the party instead of that wall. Just, I mean, I know that wall is there, but sometimes. I built that wall and I don't trust it. Big gusts come through and you know. I agree. That was my point exactly. Yeah. Well, when we would have the vanity up against that lattice and you would just see it blow that mirror. <coughs> exactly. So, yeah. And if they get in a huge fight over there and slam some up, uh, up against that wall, it will push Move it over. Yeah. yeah. And that is a 800 pound, five and a half foot square mirror. We should take a picture of it and put it up. It's a monstrosity. I have that picture of you standing next to it and it's as tall as you. It is as tall. To as your it. shoulders. <clears throat> so, yeah, my head is barely above it. Yeah. So it's. It's awesome mirror. We need to move into a hotel. I know. To man. hang it, to have a wall big enough it's to hang gonna it. It's going to be in our warehouse. <clears throat> well, I love you, Marlon. And you do whatever the hell you want to your hat because you're putting it together. Yeah, that's what I told him. So. He's stitching it. Yeah. I said, you do all the work. All you need is for him to show you the next and step. He knows all those cool stitches because he's a surgeon guy. I am so ready for the flies to die. I know. That one's really got your number. It's just because I'm warm. Yeah, well. I think it's because you taste good. No, it's not. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, one more day, babe, and the flies will be dead. Hope so. Okay, because we're gonna open up the house and just let it get really cold in here. Freeze out the mom. Oh, she'll love it. Freeze out the Shayna and the flies and the <laughs> fruit flies. They'll be gone too. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm almost completely done decorating for the party. I'm impressed, man. I need a little bit more lights. I need to do a pumpkin day. I need yeah. to carve like seven pumpkins, 12 pumpkins. We need to get some more pumpkins. What day is it? Wednesday. Wednesday. We could go tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. And get pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Did he have smaller ones or just those? He had small ones. At 5280 Produce. Yeah. That fly, man. I could hear it in my <laughs> hair headphones. He's got your number. He's all over you. I can't stand it. I don't know what the deal is. Even when we go camping, the flies are all over you and never me. It must be your lady smell. Not from your, <laughs> you know what I mean. It must be your pheromones, your female hormones. Not, your lady smell. Not your lady smell. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, you know. What yeah. I mean. Well, I was gonna say something. But yeah, I, I know. Shouldn't. Yeah, it's probably best to let that one lie. Uh, hey, did you see that the ice castles are coming back to Dylan? God, I hope that recorded. Yeah, it's right on the table, right there. Get it, hit it. Get it. Uh, just looking at it. Stupid fly. I don't have anything to hit it with. Well, <clears throat> you have a fly swatter, like, right there. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> Get it. Shh. Oh, so close. He got your number, he saw you coming. Yeah, just That's there why it is you, again. You got to use the black one because they don't see it. They don't see color? Yeah. <laughs> is that what they saying? see color. They see yellow, blue. Oh, I got you. So if you use the black one, they don't see it. Uh, Whack. What? You're going to hit me in the face with that. Whack. I can't believe that I could hear it in the microphone. Stupid fly. Yeah. Not, not bothering me at all. I killed like seven of them yesterday. Oh, you know why? Because you kept having the door open. Well, I was working in and out. I don't I understand. Want to hear this is because he killed all those rats. Yeah. Put them in the trash. Yep. And brought all the flies. Yep. Why did he put them in our trash? Was he kidding? 
I don't know if he did or not. He said he did. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he did. He could have been we joking. We had no room in our trash. I, I have no idea. All I know is that our neighbor, the... He had one of those big green bags from Home Depot that you throw all the your trash in. disposal bags. Yeah, and then they would come and get it. Well, he had filled his up so much, they wanted like 250 bucks to come and get it. All of that stuff would go into trash bags, so he emptied the giant green bag and put them into construction trash bags. Like and in doing so, discovered the den of rats. The den of rats that That's have been living at his house the, the whole entire time. time. The whole freaking Not time. ours. Not our house. Not with our chickens. They didn't live at our house. Nope. They lived in his house his inside house. his trash pile. His warm, nice trash oh, pile. Oh, and it was moist. Mm -hmm. And they had food. Mm -hmm. And so he killed like 14 or 15 rats mm -hmm. that one day and put them all in our trash can. It was a rat can. massacre. He put them in our trash can. I don't think he did. I there was no so. room in our trash. That's it was what I so full. Too. Yeah. Our trash was so bad because my mother put that rotten chicken in it. Yes, it was so bad. Her and her rotten chicken. <laughs> she, Who keeps chicken around long she enough? She brought it from, from Texas. Texas. <laughs> she brought the rotten chicken from Texas. <laughs> what in the holy hell? That's funny. That's why our trash was smelly. Not because those rats. They hadn't even been dead long enough to smell like that. Yeah. They haven't. It was gross. <laughs> well, it's wonderful, though. Maybe that will eliminate a lot of the rats. And that bag <laughs> is gone. Was literally on the other side of the fence from our camper. Yeah. Do so you think they could smell the rat blood. The rats? Oh, I'm sure. The other blood. I'm sure they could. Because they're crazy. Because we killed one in a trap and then left it there overnight. And the next morning, the rats had pulled it down into the hole and out of the trap. Yeah. So they. Rats are gross. Were feeding off of it. And so. That could be because of the flies, too, because there's dead friggin' rat down in that hole. Oh, my God. I got to fill that thing. We got to do some major rat mitigation. Now we do, now that yeah. they're dead. We need to try we need and to keep them away. need to go in and fill the holes. Keep them away. There's no more food. I try to keep them out of the den. I haven't seen any that droppings. That rat guy told me how to, to fill the holes. I did it to one of the holes. Oh, I you did? Um, and I, I put some poison down in the hole, mm -hmm. and then I turned the fence in on itself right. and shoved it down facing so the pricklies were in the hole. And then I have pushed a rock in on top of the fence, and it hasn't moved. You're it, supposed to spray expanding foam in there. Oh, I didn't have that, but I can get some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we're getting it because we're doing it to all the holes. Yeah. <clears throat> there's, only, like, there's the one up front, and then the one on the side that and was the between giant the crack. thing. Um, that yeah. big, yeah. Yeah, we need to put expanding foam in there. Yeah. That's a foundation issue. I mean, that's I like know. a nine inch difference in foundation. It's like 12. Our foundation is falling off so much that I had to put a two by four at our driveway. Yeah, because that's a new. When you come into the garage, because the, the lip to get into the garage has gotten so tall, it's like trying to climb a curb. We told the landlord, we showed him all of it. I know. He don't care. He don't care. This it's is just, just one of 30 properties. It's bent night. Yeah, it'll come back. It's fine. It'll swell back up. But whatever the hell, it dry back out. It doesn't swell up or dry back out. It just continues to shrink. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. It just falls. Well, either way, our driveway's falling off. Our garage is falling in. Well, so is the garage falling in or because the garage is getting taller than no, the driveway? No, it's because it's broken. It, you know why. Well, yeah, but because that's still it's leaning cracked down. Because it's going like this. So this part out here broke because it was lifting like this. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, we just said we have engineer. a huge, we have a huge crack going across our drive or inside the garage. And when you kick it on the end, you can hear it move. It sounds hollow. Yeah, it's definitely hollow. That could be rats. <laughs> could the rats be doing this? No, the, <clears throat> the foundation, just like the back had to be. Mud jacked. Mud jacked. The patio. That's what needs to happen over there. I need to fill it back in with concrete. On that side, <clears throat> on the side of this pad, house yeah. where that patio. Yeah, side pad. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Where that pad's falling on. Yeah. I don't want to. I, I would take this place if they gave it to us, but I'm not going to buy it ever. I mean, I've been well, re they renting haven't. it for 20 years. Why would I buy it now? <laughs> <laughs> we know all the problems. Yeah, of it. I know exactly what's wrong with it. <laughs>
Plus, the neighbors next door moved in without telling the landlord, and their upstairs shower doesn't work. Right. He, he, and he's not going to fix it. No. You can't call the landlord now and say, hey, we took over the lease. Uh, could you come fix this bathroom? That's why I'm wondering what's going to happen with the sprinkler. I was wondering that this morning because someone's got to blow it out, and mm -hmm. all the stuff is in their garage, not ours. So someone is going to have to contact the person who lived there before they moved in to organize. Cause who knows? Who cares? You're putting way too much thought in this. I just love all the weird drama. I am like Mrs. Kravitz. Yeah. I'm standing at the fucking front window waiting for him to fight. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, look. She's wearing shorts today, little floozy. <laughs> what the hell is she doing in her shorts? Watch her hair. Yeah, and I say, what are you talking about? Shut up about it. Yeah. I never seen anyone with such skinny legs and a belly. Hard belly. Yeah. Like that must be the alcohol. It is like a big old hard Buddha belly. Buddha Buddha. Like you're a hundred pounds, but you got a twenty five pound hard Buddha belly sticking like out in front of you. Hey, she's hiding a volleyball in a there. A watermelon. <gasps> she could have a tumor. <laughs> it's called. Tumor. It's called Jameson. <laughs> oh, it's a Jameson growth. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow, weird. But what? Well, that's because I mean, now they have matching bellies, so they'll just roll True. like tops on yeah. each other. <laughs> that's mean. I feel like we're making fun. We are. We are. Get your life together. Yeah, that's right. Don't be running around in the yard drunk. But you know what? Keep it in the backyard. <laughs> if you're going to run around a yard drunk, keep it in the backyard, right? <laughs> like we do. Right. I mean, oh, come on. Don't make a scene so out front. so funny. It's so weird. It, it's amazing how much your life could be affected by your a, a neighbor, a wacky neighbor. You know what I mean? Because it's like, we're just, our life was, like, we did nothing a month ago, two months ago. What are you talking about? Well, when I come home from work, come oh. home from the show, and we just chill here at the house. Mm -hmm. We weren't even really crafting, you know, we were watching. No, we were in full-on maintenance mode. Yeah, we're just trying to keep ourselves emotionally healthy and yep, stable. Because of the situation. And, um... You know, we just did nothing. We had no real stimulation. No one came over. We didn't have any crazy People stuff. Came over all but the not time. like this. No. Not like this. <clears throat> not like I'm, it is now. I mean, I'm trying to be specific to this last few weeks our life has turned 180 degrees well we at least have three people coming over every day every day we're getting a lot more interaction mm -hmm. with people than we didn't have any really before all well, we couldn't because <clears throat> you couldn't have any friends you couldn't have any any real life because it was just demeaned and made fun of right it was all subject to yeah ridicule <clears throat> so we didn't expose any of it yeah and now Better watch out, fuckers. We're showing everything. That's right. It's an open book. But that's the way life should be. Yeah. Should be an open book. Should be. Well, you because should. Because you should be here to encourage other people. You should be here to uplift other people so that other people know what you're going through. They might be going through the same thing. You know, mm -hmm. you have a, a point of reference. Yeah, because I can say for me, <clears throat> when I am struggling to make my electric bill or, you know, the public service or phone bill and I'm a little stressed out about it, hearing someone tell me about their $700 tennis shoes that they bought, it bothers me. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so you can't. It, it's much nicer to hear about someone else who's like, shit, I'm broke. Yeah. And what are we going to do about it? Yeah. Because that's how we're living. You know what I mean? Well, it's the more other relatable. broke person is going to say, hey, I don't know. Maybe you could try this. this I did this to and do. they helped yep. me. Totally. <clears throat> you know what Instead mean? of like. I remember the first time someone told us about Leap all those years ago. Oh, we don't, gosh, we don't use it now, ago. always, obviously. When our but, kids were little. But when the kids were small and you were stay-at-home mom. We had and to use it once. I was making $24,000 a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. We needed some Leap. Yeah. And uh, if it wasn't for someone who you know, who, to who, who did told it, us yeah. about it and he'd used it. And so, I don't know. I just want to be relatable. And so, I don't know what I was saying. I was just rambling. It's all you've been doing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much in my brain that's been in there for so long that I've been afraid to let out. It's like I've got this spillway open. What else do you want to let out that you well, were holding no, in? No, you know what I mean? And so now I'm just talking more. I'm Got just trying to... Got diarrhea in your mouth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I can tell by that look on your face that you totally agree. I do. <laughs> it's been... Yeah. So, it's been a crazy month. That's what I'm saying. These people move in next door and now it's like... It's, 
all of a sudden there's stuff going on around here and there's people coming over and then the ladies are screaming. No one, no one's been. Last time anything happened out front was when the last girl was dancing in the rain in the gutter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Listen, we live on a busy street, okay? Yeah. And <clears throat> they got drunk over there and she's a mom with two small, small, small kids. Really small, like under the age of five. Yeah. And she's laying out in the middle of our busy street. We live on the thoroughfare. Where the artery, <clears throat> man. Yeah, <clears throat> like people fly up and down our street going 50, 60 miles an hour because they're looking down at their phone. Totally. So you're teaching your children to lay in the gross, dirty road <laughs> it was out raining. in the middle. It was raining so hard. <clears throat> that was a weird day. You could have laid in your driveway. And that hadn't happened. Well, then the water wasn't pulling. Because their driveway was so sharp, you know what I mean? You wanted to be so they could be like in the water. Submerged. Gross. Submerged. And the, it was the, like the first rain of the season. The Nothing had even been washed off. The earth's tears washed over there. Tell me they weren't on some sort of drug. I ecstasy don't know. Ecstasy or something. Nah, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't do ecstasy. I don't know what it looks like. I've well, never done ecstasy. Listen, when... Maybe you are some sort of ecstasy I, I never, expert. I never did ecstasy. But it can, I, I don't even know what can explain what they were doing. Laying in the road, rolling around with <laughs> a fucking two-year-old and a four-year-old. I mean, and some other drunk hippie lady yeah. <clears throat> and her and the girl are like Ooh. humping each other mm. in the road it was amazing they're connecting to Listen, the earth if you're bored you should just come over here and people watch because we got shit going on over all here the all time. the time that's what i'm trying to say well i said it better <laughs> <laughs> yes, i'm just kidding yes you did, yes, you did. <laughs> But Anyways. it is a good place for people watching. So that's why I'm saying I'm very overstimulated lately. That's uh, why. That's Well, no, why. there's multiple reasons. But there's... Your brain is just overstimulating. Yeah. It's overstimulated. <clears throat> I might need medication. But you don't take any stimulants. <laughs> I know. That's the problem. Yeah. <clears throat> You need one? I need a non You never talked about my Dylan Ice Castle. He just jumped right off of it. Yeah, you said they're coming back. Well, I didn't know they left. Yeah, we should go this time. They, uh, they get there every year. <laughs> that's the one in Breckenridge. No, this is in Dylan. Oh, that's the ones last year we had to get a, a reservation and you could yes. go inside of them. Yeah. Not the snow sculptures, of which no. I am thinking. That's the contest. In Breckenridge. So you want to go to a really cold place, <clears throat> go inside a really cold building, mm -hmm. and you hate the cold real, real bad. Yep. Okay. <laughs> get a reservation. Yep. Let's go. I do want to go because we didn't get to go last year, and it did fill up last year. It sold out fast. Yeah. So if they've already announced that they're going to have, they're probably already taking reservations. It's probably full. Nah, we'll go next year. <laughs> <laughs> this is what makes you a bad native. <laughs> that statement oh, right ouch. there. But what if the weekend we go, it snows on the roads are snowy? So what? Where do you live? I live in the city you where if the roads are so safe <laughs> and then you can't fall off a mountain driving down bowls. <laughs> you can't. No, you can't fall off a mountain driving down bowls. Okay, let's do it. If you're willing to take, put our lives in, in risk to go to the ice castle, then I guess we'll go. Okay, I'll drive. No. Ah. I will wear a mask. Okay, wear your sleep mask. Okay. And It'll I'll be just fine. Try and sleep. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Just like that. Just like you fell asleep right now. <laughs> I, mountain driving has always freaked me out. You know that. Oh, my gosh. You have an excuse for everything. That's not an excuse. Yes, it is. I didn't say I'm because really of this. I'm a good mountain driver. I didn't say it, I don't like it because. I'm a better mountain you. driver probably than you are. You drive too fast. <sighs> you were way too fast. Whatever. Always. You drive too fast. I don't. You drive too fast on the highway. And you drive way too fast in the mountains. I am an assertive driver mm -hmm. because I am a good driver. Mm -hmm. That drives too fast. No. Okay. It may take us twice as long to get to the mountains when I drive. <laughs> but there's no poop in my shorts <laughs> when we get there. I don't know. You are more of an aggressive driver in the mountains than I am. 
I just have been in their mountains more than you. Mm. So that gives you the right to be more frightening. I'm not more frightening. Of course, I'm more frightening in town because I ride everybody's asses and it seems like I'm going to just... And you honk. I honk. Run people over. I shake my fist. I like to stare at people when I drive by. You know, you do that stare with your... <laughs> like that one. You saw it. As you go by, like, why are you so stupid? <laughs> That's the look on your face. Yeah. We all, in Denver, you can't not go anywhere without running into a dumb person. <laughs> it's true. The on traffic the road. is so bad. I don't know where these people are from. So bad. But who just decides, oh, actually, I wanted to turn back there. I'll just stop. Right here. Right here. Yeah. And then get over into the next lane yeah. so that I can make a U-turn. And I'm everyone... just going to try to back down this on-ramp because yeah. oh, I'm yeah. going the so, wrong on-ramp. The other day, I'm driving down uh, freaking County Line Road, and there's those little cuts in the median. Mm -hmm. you, you can't. You can't stop in a lane of traffic and take a U-turn there. No. You can't stop that. It's no, not it's, it's not, not legal. It's, or safe. It's not an actual turnaround. It's not a turnaround. <laughs> that happened to me just the other day. And I freaking laid on the horn. See, that's my thing. I'll get behind you and just lay on my horn and make you so uncomfortable that you either go straight or you do something extremely extra stupid to get away from me and my horn. Wow. But the problem is... It doesn't work in this car. Because <laughs> your horn goes. This car goes. <laughs> <laughs> you push on the horn and you're going. Hey pal, if you would, can you maybe move your car out of the way? <laughs> hey buddy, hey man, I'm back here. Um, move your car. You're really kind of bothering me, dude. But if you don't want to move, that's fine too. <laughs> I hate that freaking horn. <clears throat> the horn and the bug was had bigger balls than the horn in this little cube. Now, now it's two things I don't like about the cube. Only two. Sun visor and the windshield and the damn horn. Maybe you shouldn't be a jerk. And you could just see the ignorance ahead and move away from it. But then who would tell them they're ignorant? <laughs> Somebody else. What if they, someone doesn't? They will. Well. Because there's enough mean people out there that they will. Your mom's Oh, up. my gosh. I was like, what is happening? Um, I, I just, I guess I'm self-appointed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A town crier. Oh, I was going to say dickhead. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm doing more of a service. <clears throat> I'm actually the good guy, okay. not the dickhead. Well. They're the dickhead. <laughs> They're making me be this way. They're making you. They're making me be angry. Mm -hmm. Let's see. See what? Don't don't wait for it. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna get a new horn for the cube. Okay. I'm gonna get a different horn. I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight, and I'm gonna get a train horn. I want the one that goes auga. Oh yeah, that'll definitely get them to move. <laughs> It'll scare them. <laughs> but they'll think, "Oh my God, an old timey car's behind me." <laughs> oh yeah, they'll there's look. a clown car. <laughs> yeah, and then they'll see you, and they'll be like, "All oh, right, okay." <laughs> yeah, it is. It's that cube. <laughs> <laughs> you know who loves the cube? Old people love the cube. I love my cube. I love the cube, but like I was driving mom around to look at. Um, housings and stuff mm -hmm. and we pulled into one there's like these five old betty's sitting on the porch just sun on their rockers as soon as she stepped out of that car hey what kind of car is that it's a cute little car you got there she That's said funny. it was a cubby a cubby that's what she calls it <laughs> cubby it's a cubby mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well it's wednesday you, you said that. We got some things to do today. Mm. What are we, we going to do? We got our humping in. We did. It first was after soon. midnight. So. It was like at six this morning. Yep. So, so great. We got our morning humping, humping is the best way mm -hmm. to start your day. So I'll mark that off. It's better than folders in your cup. I believe. No, Sanka. <laughs> I like a nice cup of Sanka. Um, so we got that out of the way. Get that off the list. Humped. On hump day. Yep. And so now we're going to, Marlon's supposed to come over and make us breakfast. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to go shopping. Right. And we're going to go do stuff. Yeah. And if you, <clears throat> again, haven't got your harvest done, you need to harvest. Harvest today. Harvest everything. Bring yeah, it inside. Yeah. Don't don't try to cover for the next two days. Yeah, it's not worth it. 26 degrees all day tomorrow. Yeah. That's the high. Your fruit's going to freeze. It's tough. Yeah. Uh, Bring it in. 
Bring it in. Bring it in. <clears throat> Set them upside down. They'll keep ripening. <clears throat> That's what we're going to do. Put your fruit upside down. Fruit, I know. Hang the plant upside down? No. We're going to trim that plant. Oh, right. That's on the list for today. Yeah. I have that on the list. Uh, it's supposed trim, to be nice today, though. It's, trim uh, the plant. Like 70s. So. Yeah, because that's our Colorado weather. It's suntanning one day, shoveling the next. Totally. It's bulls. Yeah. That bipolar. Bull. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. My state did it to me. That's why there's so many bipolar people in Colorado. My state made me crazy. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's Colorado. It will make up its mind. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. All right, fine. I'm doing all that. All right, fine. I'm staying active today. We're I'm gonna go to Tandy Leather. That's where we toes. buy all of our leather for our leather goods. Thank you, Tandy Leather, for supplying the dead animal animals. skin. There's a free plug. They they don't have animals, just the skin. Well, yeah, they just have the skin. The skins. Some people call it leather. It's oh, but they have all kinds of stuff. Fur. It's skin. They got the skin with the Imagine fur. Imagine if you had a human tannery. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I don't think our skin's tough enough to be any good. Yeah, it dries I think out. we're soft and crepey. No one wants a crepey hat. Crepey old skin. Yeah, right. Because that's when you'd have to get the skin, is you'd have to get old skin. <clears throat> old stretched out skin. Yeah, crepey. Crepey. I don't know. I, I probably would check it out. There are books out there that have been done. I don't think that's real skin. You don't think so? No. Nah. That's all just folklore? Yeah. I think it's leather or it's like, because when we did the oddity show, they had some of them there and they were made out of latex. What? Yeah. Those books that look like flesh. Oh, at least make it out of like lamb. Something soft. Yeah. Something nice. Yeah. Something nice and soft. Are we literally talking about using human skin as tanned leather? Yeah. Like masks? Oh, now that'd be creepy. It would be gross. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Make a skin bag. <laughs> ah, from my bag. I feel like if you took a, a balls sack from a man, you could make a purse. You could. Just, that thing stretches out like a, Do you like think a, like once a swimming you're, cap. Once you're dead, <clears throat> it loses all elasticity? No, you can still wear it over your, your head. Because your balls shrink up and get real tight, and then they get real loose. No, I think they stay loose. When they're loose. cold. Hi, Daphne. I think they stay loose. Can you go outside? Yeah. Yeah, I think I they do. stay loose. I don't think they get tight anymore. Oh. Maybe, maybe when you take your purse outside, it'll get all tight and shrink <laughs> up, and all your shit falls out. <laughs> it gets cold. You can't. Then you're like shit. It's a coin purse in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Fine. Love Let's balls. go. Let's go get our business done. Okay. You ready? Absolutely. Okay. Say goodbye. I don't think we talked about anything today. Did, oh, did you have stuff on your list? No. I had, you found some glasses and who the hell stops working in on the middle of the project. Yeah. Those were my two bitches this morning. Oh, I didn't know we had bitches this morning. Well, no, my just comments. Comments. Topics. All right. I think we're good. I like your glasses. Thanks. They look good. How's your eyes feel? Good. All right. They're not as loose. The other ones are really loose. All right. Good. Yeah. These aren't as loose. Cool. I'll look online. Okay. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Love you. Love you. Happy hump day. Humpa humpa.